That's the best commentary I could give. That's the best commentary I could give on the state of Don Jr. these days. Um, in case, uh, in case you're wondering, uh, the title of this video is Now They're Blaming You for the Next Recession. Insanity. And uh, Don Jr., never to disappoint, is neck veining like everybody else on the right right now. And I would just like to point out, if I may, and I think that I can, uh, I'd like to point out that um, it, <laughs> in uh, the... Hold on. I'm going to make sure this... I, I, I realized I didn't check to see if the audio plays on this. Because we think about sleep Yep, more there it is. Okay, good. Anyone. I was like, Whatever I thought I was going to join. Well, guys, every day... The Anyways, name... this asshole was looking at the... Let's see if I can reload this page. This asshole is looking at his notes... In the in the thumbnail, <laughs> I I just find this amazing. Like he, he, we we've been counting like how many seconds it takes him to actually come on board and finally start his, like check his notes. He's not even getting into the fucking words yet. Guys, 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 guys. All right, here we go. They'll probably do an ad again. I'm sorry. Why have over two million sleepers chosen Casper? Because I have one of those. Totally sleeper, fine. Whatever. I've had one for a long time. I'm trying purple next best time, best maybe. Friend. Well, guys, every day the mainstream media seems. Well, guys, 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 this is every day the base. I'm sorry. I needed. I brought a prop today. Because I feel like I don't do sometimes. Guys, guys, I don't do justice to the Don Jr. videos. I I feel I've been letting you down. So I, I brought a prop. Um, this is uh, what's commonly known as a powdered donut. And it is the early rising comedian's best friend. Because you can take one of these bad boys and just dust your whole face with it. And you're pretty much good to go for any like coked out of your fucking brain jokes that you want to make. Whoa! <laughs> I'm ready for this clip, baby. Come on. Oh! To hit Guys. a new and impressive low. But this one perhaps it's takes it. the cake. This is, I guess, from it's Business it. Insider, or it's called Insider. Yeah, it's inside somebody. I haven't checked. Woo! I'm all right. Uh, I saw it on Twitter. And the really? So, Twitter's, you didn't see it on Truth Social? Why not, man? Come on. The article goes, Woo! all those new servers. The article goes like this. It goes a little something like this. Wise men say. Wow, that is a lot of comedy blow on my nose. I just have to say, I, I feel like uh, I, I feel like a junior right after a trip to um, the bathroom at a wedding. <laughs> I like it. All right. First, at your favorite restaurant, uh -huh. aren't just bad at waiting tables. Not even just bad at waiting. Guys, guys, honestly, do you know how much blow I have to do to, to, I'm sorry. Um, at this point, I have, it's, I've, it's going to take me a long time to get my deviated septum bird on. <laughs> mm -hmm. They may wind up crashing the entire economy. Oh my they, god. The servers. Dear God. The servers. Oh no. Somehow may these fucking servers, man, they blame waiters. Just like my dad, just like Ivanka, just like Eric when he's had too many white wide spritzers and Lara's left him one of those long messages again. Woo! Wind up crashing the economy. Like some of the lowest income earners in the country that are no. Uh, hold on, one second. I, I gotta. Woo, I gotta. Oh, it's exciting. I gotta look up this. Uh, okay, so uh, where's a uh, uh, business uh, insider? Uh, sorry. Oh, it's just insider. Beg your pardon. 
Uh, insider uh, servers crash economy. It's going to be good. <clears throat> Here you go. Business design. All those two servers at your favorite restaurant. Here you go. Woo. Oh, I'm not. Son of a bitch. I don't have an account. I got to do a tag labor protection. Stack plays inside the Bitcoin bus. So it's like, woo. Why is that? It business insider dies. Insider. I'm literally stuffing up my own nose while I talk so that I don't breathe in powdered sugar. The things I do for this. Woo. Come on now. Um, uh, hold on. Economy. Get out of here. Learn more. I don't want to do it. Uh, cancel it. I don't. Why is that shit? It's behind a paywall? Fuckers. Okay. Archive.ph tanky labor. Ah, here it is. This is the the shit. There's a lot of there's a lot of pop-ups on this motherfucker. Okay. All those dudes. Come on, man. Wake up. Alright, I got it. Woo! All right. All those new servers at your favorite restaurant aren't just bad at waiting tables. You may end up crossing the entire economy. Those fuckers. How long does it take for a waiter to bring you your order? How many boxes can one Amazon worker fill in an hour? How many articles can I write in a month? Just how efficient are America's workers? Whilst they may seem like questions better suited for a performance evaluation, I mean, the efficiency of workers has huge implications for the economy, productivity, growth, the change in how much workers produce in an hour has collapsed in 2022. If weak productivity continues, that will lead to higher costs lower profit margins, and ultimately higher inflation. Essentially, bad news for companies in the stock market. Efficiency drag. Oh, so it's not people who've just gotten hired. They're talking about the quiet quitting. Let's see. Let's see if uh, Donald Trump Jr. is going to defend quiet quitters. They're actually working, doing a hard and thankless job. They may be... A hard and thankless job? Oh, he, uh, by the way, there's a reason why he thinks it's a hard and thankless job, because he doesn't tip. So... One. It's thankless because of how his family treats waiters. Ones crashing the economy. I don't even know what to say at this point. Well, maybe uh, read the article fucking first and then say something after you've read the fucking article instead of just taking Heritage Foundation talking points and maybe, I, I don't know, I, I think this is the coke talking. The media is now pushing a narrative that maybe the media is now pushing the government. No. Inefficient labor, that's going to crash the economy. Not the Fed pumping trillions of dollars out there. No. The, the, the Fed is raising interest rate. Okay, I can't be coked up into Excuse me one second. I'll be right back. Jesus Christ. This is a, I have to clear this off. I can't do a whole show like this. It's absurd. Oh, okay. I'll be back in a minute. I don't I had to like, I had to like snort water just to get my goddamn, the, I, I accidentally, see, this is what happens. Mouth breathers like him have it so goddamn easy. You know what I mean? I breathe through my nose like a decent human being. Son of a bitch. All right, here we go. I need to snort. If I needed to snort some more, it's Nancy, it's right here. And it's calling my name. Like, I'm not even a fan of powder donuts. We just had one because it was a variety box. I'm fine. I'm unpowdering my nose. That's right. Oh, dear God. But my nose does smell sweet. So that's, I mean, that's nice in its own way. It's just got, it's lovely. I'm fine. All right. I'm fine. I'm fine. This is not a, I think the standing at this point is getting to me. And I've only been doing it half a day. All right, here we go. Not insane monetary policy. Okay, insane monetary policy. The Fed is raising interest rates, which means quantitative tightening for all practical purposes. That means lowering the money supply, you fucking dolt. If anybody turned on the money printers, it was his fucking dad. Not ridiculous. Not, 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 not. 
I think I have a Jude bug in my actual in my right nostril. Not U.S. government policy. Not, not U.S. government policy, as opposed to not the fact that we may be on the brink of nuclear war. And so yes, uh, nuclear war will definitely. I'm just going to call it right now. Will negatively affect the economy. I know. I know. I. I, I'm walking out on a tightrope on this one. I don't like to make predictions, you know, except the ones I'm 100% on, but for, all right. Some people are literally talking about how a small nuclear war, you know, not a big one, that could be bad, but a small one could be good for global warming. Or Okay, um, what he is referencing there is a HuffPost article. Let me see if I can find this. Um... See, one second. Uh, small nuclear uh, climate. Okay. The, um, I can, okay. This is an article based on a NASA um, study. Get out of here. Called, here it is. This is what he's referring to. This has been making the rounds in right wing world, just so you know. Could a small nuclear war reverse global warming? So um, basically, basically, um, the the argument here is is that in, environmentally, n giant nuclear explosions, especially especially multiple ones, would affect the climate the same way a large Mount St. Helens level volcano would, and it would have a cooling effect of about two degrees. That was the NASA study, because they they study both directions. So, what would happen if we had a nuclear war? Would that set us back? Would that be even worse? Would it uh, punch a hole in the ozone layer? Would there's it would be there'd be secondary onset effects, right? Um, you want just in a in a world full of grown-ups, you actually want people to think this shit through, especially scientists. <laughs> it's a good gig for them. They just spend a good amount of time um, working these things out. Just like I told you, there's somebody, there's some asshole at the Pentagon who gets every, like, Stan, Guam attacks North Korea with uh, radioactive potato guns, right as a paper. Like that, there's something, during peacetime especially, there's a lot of that shit going on. All right, here we go. So the article starts with, nuclear war is a bad thing, right? Scientists from NASA and a number of other institutions have recently been modeling the effects of a war involving 100 Hiroshima-level bombs, or 0.03% of the world's current nuclear arsenal, which is, I think they make a case in the NASA one, that if, or if India and Pakistan got engaged in a nuclear war, what would the climate or environmental effects be? That's what it was like. Okay, the research suggests 5 million metric tons of black carbon would be swept up into the lowest portion of the atmosphere. Not unlike a giant Mount St. Helens-like volcano. Maybe bigger, like two of them at once. In theory, but work with me on this. The result, according to NASA climate models, could actually be global cooling from uh, National Graphic. Now, uh, at that level of that speed and the extremity of that, that's not helpful. Dropping the global temperature two and a half fucking degrees when it's taken us since the 1880s to go up one degree is not good. This is not a situation where it is you could like, well, how many nukes would it take to solve climate change? Can we just light off like seven of them and that? No, it doesn't work that way. And in a dust up between two countries, the result would be a global cooling at such a steep and and shocking level at two and a half. Uh, well, let's see if they have it. Two and a quarter, I think. Here it is. From National Geographic. In NASA climate models, this carbon then absorbs solar heat um, and, like a hot air balloon, quickly lofted even higher, where the soot would, make much, uh, would take much longer to clear from the sky. While the global cooling caused by superpower on superpower war could be catastrophic, hence the term nuclear winter, a small-scale war could have an impact on the world climate. So the idea is that we don't even have to have a giant nuclear war to have nuclear winter. As a matter of fact, 
Two small company uh, companies, two small countries fucking with each other could lead to a lead to a level of nuclear winter that is not good. Models suggest that the world is currently in a warming trend, small scale. Whoops. Uh, that um, though the world is in a current warming trend, small scale war could lower global temperatures by 2.25 degrees uh, Fahrenheit for two to three years following the war. In more topic, uh, sorry, in more tropical areas, temperatures could fall 5.4 to 7.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Imagine what that would mean for crop yields in the tropics. That no one is suggesting this is a good thing. They're saying even small nuclear dust-ups, even Russia getting engaged in a tactical war attack, and then NATO hits Russia three times, and then they fire two, and then they fly up in the air and land on the Kremlin because they're programmed to do so by hackers that left malware in in 1994. Um, all those things, even on a small scale, could f fuck the world. That's the point. All right. Uh, even a small exchange of nuclear weapons from between 50 and 100 Hiroshima-sized bombs, which, by the way, uh, um, those were megaton bombs. These are kiloton bombs. So that's like five of them, maybe three, depending on which ones they are, uh, which India and Pakistan already have in their arsenal, would produce enough soot and smoke to block out sunlight, cool the planet, and produce climate change unprecedented in recorded human history. That's not good. Imagine uh, if the tropics are dropping seven degrees and then winter comes. So um, here it is. The cons seem to outweigh the pros in the event of global cooling caused by even a small nuclear war. So this article talks itself out of this circle. Somebody went like right up an article on that new study that, that came, uh, you know, that was talking about nuclear winter and they're like okay and it was like oh yeah that's bad too the climate crisis that was no wouldn't solve the climate crisis it would create a worse climate crisis in the other direction in and an only two and a half year pause which would probably kill about a like two billion people another article i read last week um no he didn't it's not okay. any of okay first of all no he fucking well didn't read it he looked at the headline if, if past is prologue, I call bullshit. Those guys' fault. It's not the trillion dollar institutions. It's your. The trillion dollar institutions? What do you mean, governments or Apple? Server at your local restaurant who they say is bad at their thankless job. You can't make it up anymore. Sure, you can. You're, you're, you're making it up right now. It's like beyond parody. Nothing is beyond parody. Is there a mirror in your home? I just literally parodied you with a fucking powdered donut. Um, it's like it's someone, a, it's like so, somebody else wrote something. I'll read that and, and claim it as my own. <laughs> On Twitter, I'm like reading some of the comments to this. I'm like reading like some of the other, like other people's thoughts. I'm just going to like, by the way, this kind of right-wing communism disgusts me. Jimmy Dore does this all the time. They just borrow jokes or statements they think are funny from Twitter. That's theft. This thing, yeah, looking to mainstream media for truth is like looking to a prostitute for love. That's I would, I would, have you talked to your dad? Because um, I think he'd probably just say it's the next best thing. I mean, love to prostitution. That's not what they're there for, folks. That, that's not their job. I, um, I guess we'll all just take your word for it. Now, granted, I'm, when, um, when most of your relationships are loveless, um, I'm just curious, I'm, I'm more concerned about the scale of this, uh, this comparison. <laughs> okay. Okay. Not my thing. Ask Hunter Biden. He'd probably know. But. Ask your dad. Ask your dad. I'm, I'm not even close to kidding. Ask your dad. In case you missed it, 
The media and the government hate your guts. They the media and the government hate your guts. No. Um, the market, the, the, oh shit, hold on, I can't show you that thing. Um, the stock market hates your guts because, oh, uh, here it is, jo let's see. Bureau of Labor and Statistics. U.S. manufacturing output, hours worked, and productivity recover from COVID-19. We've broken free, kids. We're now back on the climb. And so the uh, meme stock run on stocks is over. And it's back to its normal growth arc. And all the people who were, uh, who were just hiding their money there are cashing out. And all the Bitcoin assholes who went who lost all their money are cashing out their stocks and all the Chinese and Russians and, and Macedonians and whatever who've been hiding their money in the stock market are cashing out because their economy is going to shit. Um, 930 billion was wiped out from the U.S. stock market today. Fucking workers. Trying to figure out why, how my husband knows about Bitcoin, crypto, uh, but never knows when and why I'm upset. That's funny. Um, epic decline in shipping rates continues. Cost to ship 40-foot container from Shanghai to LA has fallen by 76% from its peak, which is largest percent decline in the history of the series. And look where it's going. All right, this fucking pisses me off. Look at this picture. Epic decline. There was an epic climb. What the fuck are you... This is shipping for fucking ever. And then it went, ah! And then it goes back to normal, and we're like, this is terrible. Have you seen how it's going down? Oh, my God. Ew. How's that? Ew. It's terrible. Have you seen what's been going on in shipping right now? That's crazy. Everything is... Like, that's the fastest drop in ever. That... Most people on a roller coaster experience their fastest drop ever, you dipshit. It's back to, it's, it's, not, it's even, it's still above normal. It's still like a couple of, like maybe a couple hundred dollars above the normal regular peak around the holidays. The guys, 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 the hit you guys, go, 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 go. They will take their years of bad decisions, decades. Years of bad decisions? So you're just, we're just taking the four years your dad was there out of all the decision making because he had the best people. And, uh. Decades of running debt through. Running debt. One moment. If I may. This is this is in fucking 2016. It's just it's, there's just I take it back. There are no mirrors in that house. They have to have smashed them in some bizarre vampiric moment through this roof uh decades Hold of on. incompetence that's continually wait, rewarded wait, 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 wait. of bad decisions decades of running debt through this roof Run, hold on listen to that sentence running debt through this roof they will take their years of bad decisions decades of we I mean lowering interest rates and doing quantitative easing, easing rather when there was no issue in the economy and driving us into a recession before COVID actually happened. Those, those kind of, all right. Running debt through this roof. Running debt through this roof. I mean, it kind of is a Freudian slip. Like he's in one of his dad's properties. They're indebted up to their ass. 
they're fucked. So yeah, he's been running debt through this roof, the one that's actually, the one he's actually sitting under currently. Uh, decades of incompetence that's continually rewarded. De Again, I... You really want to go there? Hold on. Newly obtained tax information reveals that from 1985 to 1994, Donald J. Trump's businesses were in far bleaker condition than was previously known. By the time his Master of the Universe memoir, Trump, the Art of the Deal, hit bookstores in 1987, Donald J. Trump was already in deep financial distress, losing tens of millions of dollars on troubled business deals, according to previously unrevealed figures from his federal income tax returns. That debt through this g g g roof. Decades of endless money printing. Of Decades of endless money printing. He just doesn't know, I like the money, they just like the phrase money printing. His dad dumped six trillion dollars on the economy, but it, decades of money printing is that government waste of government waste. Dude didn't even set up a system to make sure that the PPP loans were going to people who actually fucking needed them. Marjorie Taylor Green got one of uh, allocating resources to unproductive and incompetent people. Oh, you mean like uh, Tillerson, Barr, Jeff Sessions? No. Artificially low interest rates were. Huh? Wait a fucking second. What? Um. I have powdered donut stuff all over my. Okay. This motherfucker. Just. Ah! This is so fucking dumb. He wanted it his fucking dad wanted the Fed to pay people to take cash. You see, you start to understand how Trump Casino went under. You started to understand why Trump stakes never had a fucking chance. The human body is over seventy two percent water, and Trump couldn't even sell that. Jesus Christ. Uh, this is, when was this? Uh, 2019. U.S. President Donald Trump on Wednesday called on the boneheads at the Federal Reserve to push interest rates down into negative territory, a move reluctantly used by other world central banks to battle weak economic growth that risks punishing savers and banks' earnings in the process. This is before covid because they, they basically said, we're going to hit a recession. And he's like, they got to make sure I don't have a recession in my first term because I'm fucked. I don't even know how to handle it. And it's the year before that. You just got to you gotta bail me out by just creating this artificial flood of cash. That If anybody wants to talk about like fucking money printing, that's it. That literally is like forcing the cash machine on. This video cannot be played. Don't hate the player, hate the video. All right. Trump, in a pair of Twitter posts, yeah. said negative rates would save the government money on its debt, which included Social Security accounts that reached a record $22 trillion on Trump's watch. He did not address the risks on financial, financial market tensions that central bar, uh, banks in Europe and Japan have confronted. By the way, check Japan's currency issues right now directly tied to this as a result of their negative rate policy, or the larger issue that negative rates have not secured higher growth or higher inflation uh, um, 
for those economies. The Federal Reserve should get our interest rates down to zero or less. And we should then start to refinance our debt. Interest costs could be brought way down. While nobody's going to refinance the fucking debt when it's zero, dum-dum. Who wants the debt when you have to pay to have it? Who's going to borrow on it? I'll get great interest on it. Refinance with who? The fucking Fed? It's so fucking dumb. Good Lord. By the way, thank you guys for the super chats. You're watching House Parks Mega Worldwide. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Support the show. I'm at my new stand-up desk trying to uh, help my, my posture and overall health by moving around a lot more. Okay, there we go. Uh, guys, money printing. Fuck you. For free borrowing, terrible energy practices. Terrible energy practices. Incentivizing ridiculousness. Incentivizing ridiculousness. I can think of no better way to describe the casting process of Celebrity Apprentice. ESG. For the host. Anyway. Handouts. And they're ESG handouts. Thank hey, God, we're just dipping into Glenn Beck's ball sack. I'm going to blame it on your local fast food servers, essentially. Essentially. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm jumping around a lot, but... These people are bound and determined like nothing we've ever seen before. It can't be the oh, Democrats' look, fault. Things were good on... The, the, like nothing we've ever seen before. He's just copping his dad's lines at this point. Trump, But, you know, that, it didn't all magically change when these idiots took office, right? It's the fault of minimum wage workers that will soon be replaced by robots. Um, no, um, you're already, you've already been replaced by a robot. I'm not kidding. The, it, whatever vice president job, as far as the numerical value of any kind of, I mean, they don't even invest any fucking more. So I don't even know what his goddamn job is, but I guarantee there's a piece of software that does it. Have, have we ever seen him do his fucking job? Have we ever seen his in, in his office? You see, all right, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, you've seen my set change many times. Yeah, I'm now at my stand-up desk. I've been working on this stuff for you. And thank you, patrons, for helping make this possible. Um, and Super Chatters, bless you. And Twitch uh, subscribers, thank you. And people on Twitter, what are you waiting for? Um, but during... <clears throat> Um, I, I've been, I've been doing a bunch of, my place always looks different. My shit always works sometimes. Meanwhile, every time we see this dickhead at, in his office, same pile of papers, same pile of shit, never fucking moves. Man, man, they're stooping to a new low. That's a whole new level of gaslighting. A whole new, le they, they wrote that, by the way. That is a line on that piece of paper. That's a whole new level. Look at him reading. Whole new level of gaslighting. What are they, what are you mad? Because they're taking your game? The media is currently engaged in because their party, the Democrat party, is incompetent because they can't make a good decision because we have adult in the White House. They can't make a good decision. Okay, well, let's let, let's take a look at that. Like Biden, one of his most recent one was to expunge, to pardon all the possession-only uh, federal marijuana convictions, um, so that people can have that expunged from their record. Um, that that would be a bad decision, according to him. Um, getting the infrastructure bill passed, bad decision. Um, I'm certain that he thinks like putting money or putting uh, oil from the strategic reserve into it, the mix is probably what he's thinking about. A guy that gets up on a stage and the world looks at him like the idiot that we all look at him as. No, they don't. Unless you're talking about your dad. It has nothing to do with like quantitative easing programs of $9.1 trillion. No, no. They just bailed on him. I did not edit that. That's the end of his fucking video. Like we, holy shit! Who edited this, Tucker Carlson? This is like the video. Jesus Christ! Even Rumble is telling Don Jr. to shut the fuck up. <laughs> you 
You're watching House Sparks Mega Worldwide. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give a thumbs up. Support the show in any way that you can. Um, and if you can at all, don't worry about it. Just let let me lift the burden of fear off you. Let you just relax. It's going to be okay. I'm telling you. Can we see the end again? Yeah, totally. Here, this is the exact end of this fucking video. Watch. I'll pop it back. It's, see that? 323, 323. Right there. Watch this. Let's see if I can... There's 317. ...that we all look at him as. It has nothing to do with, like, quantitative easing programs of $9.1 trillion. No, no. That's it. No, no, get... The, oh. <laughs> Does he come back on and go, Kimberly stepped over... She kicked the cord because she was, like, salsa dancing in the kitchen because we had a couple of donors over for fucking cupcakes. What the hell? That's high quality entertainment, folks. I don't even know how I can compete with that. I don't know how I can do it. I'm just a guy in his office who's been getting about three hours sleep the last couple of nights, rearranging his studio. Uh, what do I know about, you know, giving people, you know, entertainment value? But I, but I even care. <laughs> Holy shit. Literally, when Rumble is pulling the plug on you. Oh my God, Hazara. Thank you so much for gifting the subs. All time record shattered. Holy smokes. Bless you. That's crazy. Hi, train. Oh my gosh. Hazara, thank you so much on Twitch for gifting subs to people. That is, and uh, that puts us already. Um, 10, 10 tier one subs. Thank you so much for doing that. Uh, we're at 854. We need to get up to 1,000 again, subscribers, because we dropped way low. Like, Twitch is, like, I'm kind of, like, it's the, the yeah. So, anyway, you can help out, guys. That would be great. Level six, setting a new record. Keep going until the clock runs out. Tick tock, tick tock. There's four minutes left. Come on, we can do it. People could join it. Just if you haven't subscribed in a long time, resubscribe. Now it's time to do it. It's so exciting. Um, I'm just seeing the little bar go up and there's the black screen. This is terrible. I feel like the entertainment value right now has never been worse. I apologize. The only thing good about that clip is that Don Jr. just fucking disappeared. How is that? How is that possible? How, who posts that shit? Did he, did he finally do two versions and he was just so fucked up on the second one that he didn't even bother? That's, a, I don't know, that's fucking amazing.